Bottles makes it very clear that Flatpak is the recommended way to install it. And I've talked to um, Skeleton about uh, distributions shipping bottles in the native package manager and how that can cause different issues depending on how their dependencies are set up. Um, one thing I did want to ask is why why Flatpak specifically and not Snap, for example? Because Flatpak is actually in... Uh, Flatpak works. Mm -hmm. Snap has a lot of problems. Okay. I think that Snap is probably the, the best for developers because it has a lot of things, uh, a better documentation, multipass, uh, a, a lot of things. I, I love Snap. I love developing Snaps. But uh, they are slow, mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot slow. Um, there are many issues. Uh, at the time, uh, there was uh, no portals for something we need, uh, some access, etc. Et mm -hmm. uh, Flatpak just uh, is probably the best solution for software, not just bottles, just software, mm -hmm. because uh, it's uh, it is at uh, in the developer hands, so we can make uh, our own Flatpak, test it in many architectures. Uh, test uh, some dependencies at uh, a specific version. Mm -hmm. We have a, a lot of uh, uh, less effort than just uh, experimenting with uh, Ubuntu, Fedora, and other repositories specific for that distribution. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that explains it pretty well. Um, so, why... Actually, well... Also, along with that, um, why is it that a native package manager would not be recommended to install something like Bottles? Because I know it can cause issues, but what sort of problems have you experienced with people reporting issues that you know don't exist in the flat pack, but exist with the packages that they are saying they exist with, if that makes sense? Um, what problems does using a flat pack solve as opposed to using a regular package in the case of bottles? The main difference is that uh, we actually only tested the flat pack one, mm -hmm. which used a that dependency at that version. Mm -hmm. So we know that libyaml that uh, works very well with that version because we tested it with that version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we had a lot of uh, issues because uh, maintainers packages which does not uh, uh, properly pack repack um, bottles mm -hmm. and so since bottles was uh, uh, a project that um, had uh, two releases per month like the 13 and the 28 mm -hmm. at each month and it was a, a big problem because we had the 35 release uh, and a lot of users started reporting problems with the 21. Mm -hmm. And it was very problematic to fix because we don't test out. Yeah. Well, you can't really test every single distro package. Like, if Ubuntu is going to package it in one way, they're going to have certain dependencies and dependency versions on their system. Then if you look at a distro like Arch Linux, for example, the versions available on that are going to be completely different. <clears throat> and I can understand why that would be a mess to actually test and keep things in line. That book is just universal mm -hmm. we built it uh, test it uh, and it just works everywhere mm -hmm. just you need flat pack setup i did notice that bottles has a section in there for app image as well but that's not currently available is there a plan to bring that back or is that now deprecated and gone for and just 
gone all together? Uh, we started uh, distributing bottles as app image only at mm -hmm. the start uh, with V2. But uh, there are a lot of problems with uh, Wayland uh, and other uh, libraries and dependencies. Okay. Uh, we started working with uh, Pro Bono, which was it's, uh, is uh, the, um, the founder of yep. AppImage Creator. But uh, there are still many issues. So this is not ready. We are still working on it. I think it <laughs> is ready sometime. Okay. Okay. So it is possibly going to be there in the future, just not right now. I hope. <laughs> Hopefully. 